Well, Richard, I know you said you, you weren't quite sure where you were before this race, but uh, fifth was pretty good going carrying the injury. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very pleased. Uh, I uh, managed to pull. I think it was the experience uh, today that, that got me through. I had a good swim. I had to have a good swim. I didn't actually lead it out, but I was in the lead at one point. And then uh, some chap, I think his name's Smith. I don't know if he's a swimmer or not. He's a big, big lad anyway. Uh, he wanted, obviously wanted the lead, so let him have it. Sat on his feet, tried to recover a bit because we've got that long run up the hill. Worked up the hill. Uh, Tom Bishop came round both of us as we as we came into transition, and I knew he'd be in good shape. You could see his pickup running up the hill. I was the conscious of my leg, thinking, you know, how's this going to bear up? And um, managed to get through transition. But once Tom was on the front, he went really hard. I did actually catch him at one stage, and then he got away from me again. Um, and as soon as I saw this small group coming up from behind, I thought, well, you know, I don't know what I've got in the tank on the run. I've got no idea. Um, I literally I ran once this week on Tuesday. Uh, before that, it was probably about a week and a half before that since I'd been running. I had been doing a lot of bike riding, and that must have kept me uh, kept my running legs. Because to come out of, with fifth place, I'm very, very pleased, and to feel as I did on the run. I mean, it's hurting now. Um, I'm aching a bit, but I'll be back on the physio's table. So I've got to thank Sabrina and Helen for their work. They've been countlessly just kneading at my body and trying to get it going. Um, and it, it's difficult. We got, we're backing up next week is Windsor, so it's it, you know it's a week apart with this series, and then the next two come together as well. So I need to get myself uh, wrapped up, warm, and and, uh, and and on the physio bench. Uh, I'm, I'm in the physio table tomorrow, and then again on Wednesday, and again on Friday. So uh, every other day this week, and hopefully that will keep me uh, fit enough for, for Sunday's uh, effort uh, a week's time. But uh, very pleased with fifth. Very pleased. You're not far off becoming uh, a veteran. I'm, I'm, I know you're not too shy of giving away your age. There must be some great over 40s records that you're looking forward to trying to smash. Um, I've got a few swimming ones already. Um, and yeah, my, uh, my a training partner, Mike Trees, is actually a 50, 50 years old last year. And I think he's currently fastest in the world this year at 10K. He posted a 32 minute 10K at 50. So he's setting the, the, the benchmarks and uh, we run together at park runs. We do those uh, every uh, Saturday morning. And uh, he, he pushes me every step of the way. In fact, I think this year he's leading me in park runs, so uh, in victories. So um, with a 50 year old pushing me, when I turn 40, I think I'll have a go at some of those running records. But I, I was riding around today and I'm, I'm contemplating whether or not to continue next year as a professional or uh, at least racing elite. And um, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, it was fun. I was in a pack with a bunch of 20 year olds. <laughs> yeah, I'm not nearly double their age. And I'm just uh, and I'm just going along thinking this is brilliant. I mean, how many people get this chance to race at this level um, at the age I'm doing it? And uh, I think it's all going to be a question of the body. If the body stays intact, and that's the hardest thing. Over the years, I've had some pretty horrific injuries, pelvis breaks, hand breaks, arm breaks, wrist breaks. Um, and that's part and parcel of racing, but sometimes some of them are avoidable. Uh, being hit by cars doesn't help when you're out on the road. So if I can keep myself in one piece, I may yet may challenge these youngsters for a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, it's great stuff. See you in Windsor. Cheers. Thanks very much.